Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Do you prefer Johnny or Jonathan? Uh, anything beginning with J for you. I know, you know, J names are the best names, so. Hey, hey. I'll call you GC and you can call me John T. Okay, okay, <laughs> there we go. I and I liked Anthony so much. I mean, I'm partial to the name anyway, because my brother's name is Anthony, but. I must be so. he, He's so interesting. I bet your brother's slightly and, um, it's kinder to you than Anthony to his sisters. Well, you know, my brother Anthony has his little bad boy little qualities too, so, you know. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, there's that's always good. that. But your your Anthony is so layered and so interesting, and he seems to, you know, have some struggles with with his position is in the family and trying to balance his own needs versus the needs of the family. What is the best part about playing a character who just has all these layers and all of the these flaws and ticks to him? Well, I think it. I think when you're going into something like Bridgerton, where you know there's. Well, you know that there's like eight books that have already written and presumably it's going to continue and continue if it goes well. Um, you want a character that's going to be, uh, have a huge like ability to grow and evolve. And, you know, when we meet Anthony, he sort of has a bit of self-confidence at the beginning and that gets completely annihilated throughout. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think it's a really interesting thing to like see men in roles of responsibility who, you know, don't have the emotional wherewithal to be able to carry out, um, you know, that, that sort of, ridiculous um clout that they're given within the family within the society and um anything that sort of unpicks the patriarchy from a female gaze and also from a male gaze i'm i'm so up for getting involved in, in you know being able to show my belief in, in, in all of that and also yeah i just think he's just a tragic i was gonna say he's a tragic hero but maybe he's a bit tragic <laughs> but he really <laughs> does me well and he's got he, he, he the thing that i love and you have to love your characters is that he cares so much about his family um, and he actually cares more about them than I think he cares about himself. And he's quite, I think he, he yeah, he doesn't have that much respect for himself, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I liked about him most because usually when there's like a, the oldest sibling who's the inevitable heir to, to the monarchy or to the throne, it's easy to paint him, they're a good guy, they're a bad guy, they're this or that, but you can't really put him in a box because you just never know what version of Anthony you're gonna get on any given day. Yeah. How does he best serve the family? We will see what he gets wrong. Um, what does he do well that kind of forwards the, the family along? Yeah, that's so good. I think that, um, there's amazing moments where he finally does, um, he, he gets into a place where he can speak really honestly and generously. And there's a really lovely scene with Daphne, I think. And it's always really like after hours. It's always when he's had a drink. But I think, I think what, he, what he does do well is that he continues. He's, he's sort of like, he's, he's passionate and he is he's kind of like, he's incredibly emotional and aggressive, but but actually he's quite by the book um, and he's reliable for being unreliable in, 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 in so much, but also he takes on all the responsibility and the weight of the pressure of being the heir and the Viscount that I think it allows his younger siblings to be able to go and have, have way more fun and get up to way more naughtiness than he does. Um, so he's sort of like the speedboat and they're all sort of water skiing behind. Um, and I think, I think that's quite, um, whether he's conscious of that or not, I think he, he takes quite a few bullets for that. What I liked about all of the, all of the characters, this is such a strong character driven show. And mm. usually when I watch an episode, I see if I can remember everyone's name without looking it up, without writing it down. I was able to remember all of the characters and all of you, who you were by the end of the first episode. When you have um, such a strong character show, if there was anybody you could swap with, male or female, whose character did you like that you would say, you know what, if I wasn't Anthony, this would be a pretty cool role to slip into also? Um, yeah, I love um, Lady Featherington. Because <laughs> she's got a lot going on as well. And actually she, you know, plays it so well because you know, she's under an extraordinary pressure in that she's in a loveless marriage with a guy who just seems to, you know, piss away all of their money, and gamble it, um, and get them into really, really tricky situations. And, you know, she's clearly someone who isn't in a position to sort of love her children properly, 
because again she probably in turn hasn't been respected or loved as well so yeah there's so much going on with her um, and I think that would probably be um, you know much like Anthony a really complex character to get in but you know no one can play it like Polly Walker so you know I'd play it for a day and then let her take over again and show it how, show it how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly what should we keep in mind about Anthony as we watch him navigate his path with his family? Uh, yeah, we should, uh, keep in mind that he can't sleep. <laughs> he's anxious as hell. And, um, you know, he's trying his best, I think. That's what I kept saying to myself. And actually, weirdly, I thought that was so obvious that um, it wasn't something that I felt like needed to be brought to the, brought to the fore. Um, but there's like there's really lovely, like, you know, and when whenever there is a celebration of other people's love um, in the family or successes, he's right there and he's smiling in the background. So, you know, he does, he does mean well. I think that's something that, um, hopefully we should never forget, even when he's holding a pistol at his best friend. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much, Johnny, for your time. You're a wonderful, you. terrific series. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.